He loved it! I'm so relieved. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sarah. Timmy? <laughs> hey, my name is Sarah and... And this is Timmy. <laughs> Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. If you don't know what I'm talking about, and you're new here, I just want to say hi, welcome. If you're returning, I'm so glad that you are here too. Uh, if you saw my last video, I said in it, fingers crossed, hopefully my husband, hopefully my husband loves his dresser and this is it, and he does. And I made it over while he was out of town. <laughs> Which, you know, this is what I do. I love to do it, I love to make over furniture. So he wasn't at all surprised. Uh, that I had done that while he was out of town. It was given to us by a friend at work. His wife didn't want it anymore. She had a whole bunch of dresses actually, which is a lot of the dresses that you've already seen and a few future videos that are still to come. It, this was the first time that I have done wet distressing and it was a lot of fun and I'm definitely doing it again on future pieces. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over that technique that I use. Uh, it's really simple it is it looks like you're doing a shoddy job to be honest <laughs> but you have to hang in there for the ride it's a sort of a two-part process you put on the first coat and and you'll see and then you put on the second coat and it starts to all come together so with that let's get into the video okay <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm pretty sure I'm crazy but I'm excited and I think I can do it. So I'm nearing the end, right, of that project there. That's the desk. I started yesterday, that guy, and I'm still gonna be working on it. I just dropped my husband off at the airport <laughs> and he's gone for the weekend and I've decided I'm gonna make over his dresser. <laughs> so I don't have like a week to work on this. His clothes are like spread all over our room so if I can't get the top looking how I want if the stains aren't going away I don't have a lot of time to uh, fuss over this I need it back and ready in my room before Sunday so I am gonna send it back see what condition it's in if I can't save it I'm going to just paint it in a black color of Dixie Belle paint I don't have it I'm buying it tomorrow so the sides and the fronts and all of these parts are all going to be painted in the Dixie Belle black and then I'm going to sand my drawers back and stain those in walnut. So it doesn't matter to me, I would like the top to be walnut as well but it would look fine in black as well so they're, they're my two options. It just depends what's underneath or condition it's in. So I'm excited, let's get started. Can you see, see that? It's sort of bowed, looks like a smile. Um, I'll show you a trick how to fix that in a little bit.
So I told you I was going to show you a trick. So that has a bow in the middle of it, or it looks like a bit of a smiley face. So I wet it, I've wet it on both sides. The water, the moisture is going to make it more, just a little more pliable. That's probably why it bent in the first place, because of moisture. Now, because it's this way, I'm going to put it face down and I'm going to put one, two, three uh, heavy cans of paint on it and it's just going to gently push it back into place. This one, two, three, actually I need something a bit more heavy in the middle. There we go. And then I'll leave that down here and when that dries it'll be straight as a tack. Is a tack straight? I don't know. Okay. See that? Okay, so the reason that I did that is as soon as I started sanding I knew it was a mistake. Um, well, as soon as I did a big, a big part of it. I think I was hoping, but the planks are not the same. When I sanded it, the grain didn't feel right. So I have gone over all the little grains and filled it with the plastic wood fill. And uh, when that dries, I'll sand it back and that. All right, and so this is what I was talking about. See how the wood fill has gone into the little lines, the grains. It's filled those, done its job, filled the wood and I've sanded it back. So now when I paint the whole thing it is going to be the same consistency and now it all feels exactly the same. Okay. Hey. Alright. I've got the repairs done and the sanding done. I just got sanded and I've got the staining done. It looks so good. Um, it's a much darker, richer, more brown tone. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I have cleaned it with TSP and I have also rinsed it with clean water. Dixie Belle Caviar is the paint that I'll be using for this. It is Dixie Belle's truest black. The paint technique is called wet distressing. It's going to look like I've done a shoddy job uh, first coat because what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it on nice and thick in some areas and then in a couple of areas I'm going to just leave it bare wood. When I come back to do second coat I'm going to oh, repaint on the on the areas that I've already painted then I'm going to wet another brush and I'm going to I don't know what the best word is smudge <laughs> I'm gonna smudge the paint over the areas that I left bare wood and then so then it's gonna have a natural distressed look to it so.
decided to take the stuff off this and then I was like, oh, I probably should show it, videotape it. Did it work? <gasps> Why, yes it did. Look at that. No bend. Little trick for you. So that's what it looks like. It's um, the darker patches are all still wet in there and it's drying. Looks like a zebra. No, a cheetah or something. Some sort of animal with patches. And the side is the same. It's late. I'm not even going to tell you what time it is. <laughs> it's, it's late. I'm going to go to bed. Uh, second coat tomorrow. I will see you guys in the morning. Morning. We're going to sand this uh, with a 400 grit sandpaper. I'm just wanting to give it a light sand before I put the second coat on and show you you know the second step to the wet sanding. All right, all right. So before I, this is the kick plate for the bottom of the dresser. So before I go any further, I want to put some glue there, same on the other end, and nails in it. Break the handle on my little spritzer thing. So annoying. <laughs> right when I needed it. So, this was the only other little spray bottle that I had. I'm gonna dip my brush and then I'm gonna go back over the parts that are heavy, right? Not these parts. One inch square brush. I'm gonna take it, take that, and I'm going to smudge it over this part. You also need a cloth to wipe it on. Okay, so we're working with two brushes. This is gonna put the paint on the dark areas. This is going to smudge, I know it's not a technical word, but it's gonna smudge it over the parts that I've left, giving it a nice sort of, not as raw effect, but a gr more of a, a gray black effect. And oh, and you need your little spritzer Spritz your paint, spritz in your brush. Right, I've got paint on my brush going around the part that I'm gonna wet brush. Spritzing my dry brush. And I'm gonna do that everywhere that I've left it bare, basically. to use Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax. Right. Put some in on your brush and just brush it on. Work it in to all the grooves. It is white but it, it dries clear. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's like, oh, does she know what she's doing? You just leave it on and then in about 15 minutes, you buff it off.
So what did you guys think? I hope that maybe something in today's video uh, has inspired you to make over a piece of furniture in uh, your house or if you're flipping and you want to give this a go, do it! It's so good, it's so simple, it is an easy look to achieve and it just looks stunning. It really does. Is that weird? Is that weird to say that about your own piece that you made over? I mean, the piece of furniture I did not build, so it's stunning, but, and the paint just complemented the way that it looks. So maybe it is weird to say that, but there you go, I said it. So next week's piece, I got to do something for that piece that I have not done before and it is so stinking simple. I don't know why I haven't done it up until this point, but let me tell you, I will be doing it from here on out on any piece that I can. It was so much fun and it just lifted, elevated the piece to a new level. So uh, I hope to see you guys on that video. Bye.